Welcome. This is part two of a two-part live cast on how to create users and assign those users admin abilities. In part one, you learn how to create a role that allows a user, in this case Principal Pringle, to add the enterprise admin portlet to a page and to create organizations. In part two of this live cast, we'll create another user, Elise Averly, the art department head, and give her the ability to administer her organization and sub-organizations. With Library Running, take a web browser to HTTP localhost port 8080 slash web slash Victory High School. Login as Principal Pringle. The login is pPringle at victoryhighschool.com and the password is test. Then using the doc, navigate to the My Community private pages. Now I want to add the art department head, Elise Averly. As the art department head, she should have the ability to edit and modify the art department organization, but not any of the other organizations. This is an example of LifeRay's fine-grained permissioning tools. Here's how to set her up as the admin of the art department organization. Click Organizations in the Enterprise Admin Portlet. Then click the Actions tab next to the art department to add users. Although we did not give Principal Pringle the ability to add users, because he has the ability to create organizations, he can automatically create users within the organizations he creates. Add user will create new users that will belong to the organization. Assign members will let you put already existing users in the organization. Make sure to select Add User. The user we are creating will be given administrative rights over the organization. That way, the user we are currently, Principal Pringle, doesn't have to oversee the pages within an organization or department. This is a simple example of the power allocatable within LifeRay Portal. The user is named Department Head Averly. The users who are department heads at the school will be the administrators for the organizations. The email is dhaverly at victoryhighschool.com. Once you've finished populating the description of the user, go ahead and click Save. Then we'll change the password to Test. Always make sure to save changes you've made. Then click Back. The last thing we'll do is assign Department Head Averly the role of Organization Administrator. Click the Actions bar next to the Art Department Organization and select Assign User Roles. Click the role Organization Owner. Click the Available tab and select Department Head Averly. This will make her the Organization Owner for the Art Department, but not for the other departments. The organization owner can assign other users to the organization admin roles. The organization admin cannot. Later on, we'll be giving teachers within the department their own sub-organizations that they can manage, so we will want the department heads to be organization owners rather than just admins. Click Update Associations and then go ahead and return home. Because Organization Owner is an organization scoped role, we cannot give it the ability to add the organization admin portlet. Therefore, we will need to create a new role specifically for this task. In the Enterprise Admin Portlet, click Roles, and then create a role called Department Head. Populate the description will say users will have the ability to administer their respective organizations and add the organization admin portlet. To give this role the ability to add the organization admin portlet, we must log out and log back in as administrator. Login is admin at victoryhighschool.com and the password is test. Once logged in, navigate to the My Communities private pages. Then go to the Enterprise Admin Portlet and click the Plugins tab. 
find the organization admin portlet, and then add the role department head to it. Click Save, and then return to the Enterprise Admin Portlet and click Roles. Once again, we'll select the Actions tab next to the department head role and click Assign Members. Then click Available, and assign department head Averly to this role. The last thing we'll do is assign her to the staff user group. Click back, click user groups, click actions next to the staff user group, and click assign members. Click available and select department head Averly. Click update associations. Now, when she logs in, her My Community public and private pages will be set up for the staff user group. Go ahead and return to full page. I'm going to go ahead and create the department heads for the English, Math, and Science organizations. If you're walking with me through this tutorial, you might want to put it on pause and try creating those three organization admins on your own. Don't forget to give them the organization owner, and department head roles for the respective organizations and to assign them to the staff user group. There, as you can see, there are four organization admins to go with the four organizations we set up in part one of this livecast. This is a very powerful tool to have. You can set up admins with various permissions for the different organizations with just a few clicks. In this two-part livecast, you learn how to create users and how to delegate administrative powers to those users. You also learn the difference between regular and organization roles. Thanks for listening. Please visit our forums or wiki for more information. You can find these at www.liferay.com in the Communities section.